A Russian court on Monday sentenced a 72-year-old American to nearly seven years in prison for fighting as a mercenary in Ukraine. Prosecutors said Stephen Hubbard signed a contract with the Ukrainian military after Russia sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022 and he fought alongside them until being captured two months later. He was sentenced to six years and ten months in a general security prison. Prosecutors had called for a sentence of seven years in a maximum security prison. Hubbard, from the state of Michigan, is the first American known to have been convicted for fighting as a mercenary in the Ukrainian conflict. The charges carried a potential sentence of 15 years, but prosecutors asked that his age be taken into account and that he had admitted guilt, Russian news reports said. Arrests of Americans have become increasingly common in Russia in recent years. Concern has risen that Russia could be targeting U.S. nationals for arrest to use later as bargaining chips in talks to bring back Russians convicted of crimes in the U.S. and Europe. The U.S. and Russia in August completed their largest prisoner swap in post-Soviet history, a deal involving 24 people, many months of negotiations and concessions from other European countries, which released Russians in their custody as part of the exchange. Several U.S. citizens remain behind bars in Russia following the swap. The Russian occupiers have a task to capture Kurakovo before the new year, but it will be a meat grinder for them. This was stated on air by the Ukrainian military political observer of the information resistance group Alexander Kovalenko on Kiev 24. He stressed that worsening weather conditions have never stopped Russian occupiers. Now, when they are forming the southern flank of Pokrovsk along the right and left banks of the Volchia River, they are, among other things, creating conditions for an offensive on Kurakovo. And after Volodar was captured, now all those cabs that statistically flew to Volodar began to fly to Kurokovo. That is, this city is being prepared for further offensive and assault actions by the occupiers. Therefore, Kurokovo is really under maximum threat now, the expert noted. According to Kovalenko, Kurokovo has defensive lines and in addition, there are quite good relief and landscape features near the city which create natural obstacles for Russian occupiers. But when the Russians start working, on Kurokovo, daily with dozens of cabs and destroying our positions, reducing the capabilities of our borders, then nothing can stop them. And one way or another, they will approach Kurokovo at the appropriate distance to have a total advantage in fire damage. They are already trying to do this through Ostroy, putting pressure on Maximilianovka, Ostrovskoy, Alexandropol. That is, they are forming a northeastern flank to Kurokovo in order to have the ability to influence it from several directions, Kovalenko said. 
According to him, attempts to capture Kurokovo will cost the Russians even greater losses than they had during the attacks on Ugladar. On the one hand, they have a goal to advance very quickly and capture Kurokovo. In fact, by the end of the year, this is the goal. But there are quite a lot of obstacles to doing this in a timely manner or with minimal losses. In the Kurokovo direction, they will have huge losses. No less than in Ugledarskoy or along Kramatorskoy in the area of Chasov Yar. That is, for the Russians, it will be a meat grinder. The encirclement of Ukrainian defense forces, as the expert assures, is impossible here because there are at least two logistical exit arteries from Kurokovo, which the Russians cannot cut off. In his opinion, the general trend of the creeping advance of the Russians will not change until Ukraine receives all the weapons that it requests from its partners. Kovalenko noted that the Russians managed to develop the occupation movement in the east since October 2023. At that time, the enemy was advancing on Avdiivka and Chasivyar, and this was a period when Ukraine did not have enough military assistance from its partners.